Hey guys, Mikey here. Welcome back to another short video of the Data Visualization Basics in R tutorial series. So today we'll be looking at how to create custom color palettes in R. So let's install the ggplot2 package and let's create a sample data frame. So here our data frame has four columns. So it's very similar to the data frames we have been using in the previous videos. Here I just increased the number of rows so it has uh, like a column on trees, location, height, and standard deviation. And we'll be creating a sample bar plot as well. So we won't be giving any color combination or palette here. So let's see what are the default colors. So our result looks something like this. Well, if you want to change these individual colors, what you can do is you can create a custom color palette or where you just enter the individual colors. So for that we use the scale underscore fill underscore manual function so here it's fill because we are filling the bar plot with a particular color so remember here also we used trees so that's why we had uh, three colors here like different colors based on the type of trees that we are investigating but let's say if we have something like a line plot or like uh, points in that case instead of the fill what you should be using is color so it will be scale underscore color underscore manual the scale underscore fill underscore manual works only in cases of things like let's say bar plot or box plot or violin plot or dot plot where you can actually fill those things with a particular color so now let's run this code and see how it looks. So yeah, this is our result. So we have three different color gradients of green and the colors are here given based on the types of trees. So this is one way of doing it. So here, instead of giving the color name, you can also give the hex codes like here. So in the second case, what I'm doing is that instead of manually using or typing the color names here I just create a custom color palette which is a combination of all these different colors so the use of this is that uh, in case you want to just keep switching and testing or like you have multiple plots and you just want to give certain colors in that case rather than just entering each color every single time it's better to create like let's say custom palette for like blue or custom ballot green or fire or something like that and you can easily play around with it so let's create a custom color palette using the hex, hex codes here okay now that's done and what we need to do is that so instead of this part here we just say that the values is the custom palette that we just created and now if you run this code we get our new result so these are the three colors that i gave here you can play around with it and see how it works for you well that's all for now i hope you guys found this video helpful and make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you are looking into more data science or visualization related videos i'll see you tomorrow ciao